Hi, welcome back to another Dean Makes video. In today's video, we're going to be doing something slightly different, and that is surfacing the waste board of a work CNC machine. So we're going to start by opening a spire. We're going to go and create a new file. And we want the file to be the size of the machine that we're going to be surfacing. So the work bee from Ooze Nest has a working X width of 550 millimeters a working Y height of 770 millimeters and the thickness here is just the thickness of the MDF that I'm going to be using which is 18 millimeters but because I've got a dust extraction system fitted I need to take off 15 millimeters off each side of the x-axis which should give us 520 the reason I've done this is because if I don't as the z-axis comes down it will just clip the insides of the C beams and the plates on the machine so my XY datum position is going to be set up in the far right hand corner of the machine and then I'm just going to press OK on that to confirm. So the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle which is the size of the area that I'm going to be surfacing. So that's 520 millimeters and 770. I'm just going to press create on that which hopefully if I've done this correctly should give us a rectangle around the perimeter of our shape. So next step that I'm going to take here is I'm going to use the toolpaths to generate a toolpath to cut a pocket operation into the waste board. So I'm going to start at the depth of zero which is the very top of the MDF and we're only going to cut down one millimeter at a time. The tool that I'm going to be using is a 28.575 millimeter end mill which I bought from Ooze Nest. I'll have a link for that in the description in case you want to do this job yourself. So for the pocket we're going to have it as an offset path and then we're just going to go down to the bottom and press calculate which should give us something like this. So we just want to preview that selected toolpath. That all looks good to me so just close that, come over to the bottom want to save the toolpath. We're going to be using the post processor of the GRBL. We want that in millimeters G code. So I'm going to select my toolpaths to save. Press save toolpath. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop just for quickness as a surface. And save. Then before we close the window, we're just going to minimize this and just see that that's there. So once we've exported our G-code, the next step is to put the bit into the router. So now we'll open up our web browser and go on to the Duet software to control the CNC machine. As you can see by the message that just popped up, I've successfully connected to the machine and now I'm going to home my X, Y and Z axis. what you can see that I'm doing here is I'm just using a touch plate from Ooze Nest just to probe the z-axis and that will tell us the height of the material. So now I'm going to upload the g-code file and we just double click it and the machine should start cutting as soon as it receives the file. Whilst we watch the work be cut I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity just to tell you that I've put a link to the work bee CNC machine from Ooze Nest down in the description. Ooze Nest have absolutely fantastic customer service and when I've hit a couple of issues during the build they've sorted me out straight away. I couldn't recommend a better company if you're looking to get into CNC machining in the UK. So now that we're coming towards the end of the job, you can start to see that we've got a perfectly level and surfaced wasteboard. Hopefully I'll have a few projects up within the next week on this CNC machine. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe. There's going to be plenty more coming this year. And thank you for all the support so far.